Well, it seems like it's never going to end with this Pope. You need to check this out. Heartsick Boy asks if Atheist Dad is in heaven. Pope Francis reveals the answer with a hug. The article goes on to say this, that Emmanuel was crying for his father who had recently died. The Pope told the pontiff that his dad was an atheist, but a good man, who had all four of his children baptized. Is dad in heaven? The boy asked the Pope. The Pope said that God decides who goes to heaven and that God has the heart of a father. He asked the young girls and boys in the audience if they thought God would abandon a father like Emmanuel's, who was a good man. No, the children shouted back. And then the Pope said, there you go, Emmanuel. That is the answer. You know, as difficult as this may be for some to hear that have lost loved ones that were atheists, the Pope not only lied to this little boy about his atheist dad, he got all the children in the audience to shove the lie deeper into that precious little boy's heart by claiming he was in heaven. How is that showing love to that little boy? His dad was an atheist, and he made his choice, and now he's dead. No getting around that sad reality. But that little boy should have been shown the real love of Jesus Christ as Savior, so as to prevent him from emulating his dad's life. And now that the Pope told him his dad is in heaven anyway, when he grows up, he will no doubt hang his hat on that globally televised conversation and possibly go to the same grave his dad did. What the Pope did is not how true Christianity works, but as prophesied. He did exactly as wolves in sheep's clothing will do to gain souls for the dying God of this world. The Pope should have comforted the child and shared God's word with him and all those children to let them know that they don't have to die without assurance of salvation, as this poor little boy's dad did, by declaring unto them the only way to get to heaven is to embrace Jesus Christ as Lord. The Pope could have used his atheist father as a perfect example of what not to do in life so as to find real peace and real love in Jesus Christ. As heart-wrenching as that may be to hear, it would have blessed that child with a real chance in life to gain salvation. In fact, when a man who was in need of mercy cried out to Paul and Silas 2,000 years ago, he said this in Acts chapter 16, verses 30 and 31, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. But the Pope never said that to the weeping little boy. Instead, he told this frightened child that all he needed to do was be a good atheist like his dad, and he will be in heaven. In other words, what Jesus did on the cross to save all those that accept him as Savior doesn't matter at all with the Popes of Rome. But the real Christian truth is, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. Pray for this little boy and all those little children that the Pope used to fabricate a lie that day. Thank you for watching. God bless.